Hi, it's Lorna from the Tartan Twister and Face Paint Parties, but today, the Tartan Twister. So I'm going to do some, a wee quick tutorial for you for Tamfest, virtual Tamfest. Um, I hope you're all enjoying joining in and taking part in all the workshops and things that are happening. Um, my son, Jack, uh, you may have seen him in a previous tutorial, is wearing a vampire hat so he's got it's perfect for social distancing actually because you know you can't get away from face away away the front or the back so you can see if Jack turns round you can see the legs at the back there as well hanging hanging down um he's also wearing I'm not going to show you how to do this in this tutorial but it's one of my favorites to make at Halloween's the spider so you've got the spider on the wrist and I'm sure you saw a lot of those at Tamfest last year. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to make these. Um, I dragged Jack away from Minecraft so I'm going to let him get back to it. Thank you, sir. Wait, that's it? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay. So I've got 260Q, they're called 260Q balloons long ones there that you're going to make into the arms and legs in the section round about the hat. You're going to need two of those, uh, basically just two white. But again, although I'm going for traditional, get yourself a, a baby blue, you know, like ghost or any colour you like. So two of these 260Q balloons that you can get from supermarkets. Um, or if you really want to get into this, uh, go for Qualitex because they are really good quality balloons. Uh, balloon and party people as well in Kilmarnock, Glencairn Industrial Estate. Go and see Lisa, get your balloons from Lisa. Uh, she's fantastic. I'm not sure, I think she'll be doing deliveries and things. I've, I need to speak to her. Lisa, balloon and party people, um, check her out. She'll have everything that you need. You want to blow this five inch round up to that size so it's it's pretty solid there so I'm just gonna let a little bit of air out now this is like one of the trickiest things sometimes that people find is actually tying the balloon I know that my kids found that quite difficult for you well you just want to wrap it around your two fingers there pop it through your fingers hold on to the end nozzle and boom that's it and oh balloon pump so the humble balloon pump again uh balloon and parts people who sell these they're fairly cheap i think it's under four pounds for one um far better than the single uh the single pump action ones that you'll get from the supermarket so that's basically pushing it out when you um move it up handing so it saves you twice the work basically so I'm going to do about seven pumps for this one and I'm going to show you there it has a wee tail left at the end there that's not blown up and that's going to move, I'm also going to let out a little bit of air there. So you need that, about four fingers there, yeah about four fingers worth, so that the air can move down your balloon as you twist it. If uh, you've got any questions, if I'm going too fast or skipping over anything, just leave me a comment. I will get back to you. Um, so again, about seven pumps for this balloon. Just holding on to the end of the nozzle there with your two fingers to make sure it doesn't go flying off. And you're just tying that knot there as well and you'll be experts at this by the end of the tutorial. Um, I'm going to make a little bit of a foot for my ghost. So maybe I want to take about three fingers length, twist it down, so like that, and see where my fingers are squeezing there. You just want to trust that this balloon's not going to burst. If it's a Qualitex one, it won't burst. It's another one of mine. Hopefully not. So you just want to pinch with your fingers there and twist it three times. One, 
two, three. With the ends nozzle that you've got there, you kind of want to tie that off just by pushing it through the hole there and that's you, you have got one foot. So I'm going to quickly do that exact same with your other 260 cube balloon. Hold it down and pinch and twist three times. One, two, three. Grab the end nozzle there, push it through and ta-da, there you go. That's your two feet. Hold them at the exact same place, same length, and you want to just bend them and give them a squeeze. That's basically just giving you knees. Yeah, so some knees for your uh, your ghost's legs. Pinch round about, what's that, about one, two hands length you want for your legs. And you're going to pinch those two together. Just squeeze really tight with your thumb and your forefinger. And you're just going to grab these two legs here and twist them again. One, two, and three. That's going to hold there and you've got your two legs. Now, if you're making it for yourself, let's face it, you don't need kids to have fun, do you? As daft as you like. Lick me. So, you're going to put that round your head or around your child's head. And you're going to do the same here. Twist, pinch, and then twist. One, two, three. So, hopefully you're left with nice even ends there. So, I'm going to make a hand, exact same as the leg, bend that over, pinch, one, two, three, twist, and any slack that you've got, push it through the whole layer and that's just going to secure it. You want the other hand to be the same length. So, mine isn't. You can tell that one's longer. I don't know how that happened, but it did. So, I'm going to show you how to make the most of it. You're going to twist to make your hand there. So again, just making them the same length, folding that balloon over. Pinch, twist, one, two, three. And now for the fun bit. I'm just going to pinch here. And then really quickly, one, two, three, pull. <laughs> I thought that wasn't going to work there. <laughs> Let the air out, twist it around and pop it through. And then you've got two arms the same length at the front and two nice big long dangly legs at the back. Your five inch round balloon that you've already pre-prepared. just happens sometimes so I'm just gonna go with it I'm not gonna edit it out I'm not gonna do any of that I messed up it broke what I'm gonna do is <laughs> maybe <laughs> I am gonna blow it back up again okay so same again I'm just going over the same part again so um, I'm not going to spend any more time on that just twisting it over popping that through <laughs> and hopefully it's going to stay this time okay it will when I pop this on so this is going to be your ghost head you just want to slide the nozzle end through the section that's your hat, back up and down again and you want to just go around three times, it's kind of like please the magic number when you're balloon modelling. Okay, so you've done that three times, you now have your balloon hat. Sharpie marker time. Pretty much everybody's got sharpie markers now, it's amazing isn't it? So, uh, to draw on 
the mouth I'm literally just gonna do an oval kind of a shape a big O, a big capital O. There we go. I'm going to fill that in with black. Uh, there are markers that you can't use on balloons. Uh, anything sharp or with a fine tip, probably going to burst your balloon. Uh, there's also those white markers that the chemical that's in the white marker will pop your balloon as well. So just be careful with the ones that you use, mess about, try different things. Felt tip markers, as long as they're pretty thick, should work. Um, Sharpies are, are perfect, they're ideal. So I'm just going to go around the side of the mouth just to make them look a wee bit more oh, scary. And the eyes, I want them to look a bit surprised, so I'm going to do almost panda shaped eyes. So it's going to be a larger line on the inside of the eye going to there we go on the outside like that so almost kind of I don't know do triangles do whatever shape you like can you tell I'm not really a big one for saying do this exactly this way why complicate your life um, just you have fun and do whatever you think looks good, okay? Okay, so just filling that in again a bit there. I'm going to do the same as what I did with the mouth and just go round his eyes and make him look a bit more tired. Oh, God love you, go see. You've been having a, a hard time, haven't you? It's time to get and do some tam fest fun. So I'm going to draw his cheeks in as well and I'm going to give him a bit of a funny chin and his eyebrows there as well Ooh. So there we go, that is a simple ghost hat that you can wear for Halloween Scare everybody Happy Tam Fest! <laughs> I've been Lorna from, well, I still am Lorna, from Tartan Twister and Face Paint Parties. Come and check me out on social media, leave me some messages, some comments, send me questions, uh, whatever. I'd like to hear from you. Send me pictures of uh, your balloon models. Okay, take care everybody, bye!